Chilling, disturbing, surreal, just some of the words used to describe that scene during the school board meeting in Florida. Really what it, frightening. It really is. What is so remarkable in this case, you actually see what was happening inside that room. Some people even watched it all happen live. It started when a man identified as Clay Duke walked to the podium. Moments later, he spray painted a symbol on the wall of that room, pulled out a handgun, and eventually opened fire. And we should warn you, some of the video you're going to see this morning is disturbing. At one point before the shooting started, a female school board member used her purse to try and knock the gun out of Duke's hand. We're going to talk to her and two other board members to defuse the situation straight ahead. But first, let's get right to NBC's Mark Potter. He's in Panama City, Florida with the latest. Mark, what can you tell us? Well, good morning, Matt. The gunman was killed in the incident, and it was caught on tape, and we will not show that. And we warn, the rest of the video leading up to that moment is very intense. Just as the Bay County School Board opened the floor for public comment, a man later identified as 56-year-old Clay Duke began spray-painting the wall with a circle and a big V. After drawing a handgun, he ordered most people out of the room. Leave. You may leave, you may leave. Being he told you when you can leave. Six men stay. Everyone else leaves. One board member who left the room, Ginger Littleton, tried to intervene, hitting the gunman with her purse. No, no, Ginger. Ginger, no. Littleton was unhurt and left the room again, what, what while Duke, do? gun still in hand, really complained to the school superintendent, four board members, and their attorney that his wife had been fired. Board members repeatedly pressed him for details. Please, just talk to us. If I can help you get your wife a job somewhere else, I'll be glad to do that. Yes, sir. I'll be very honest with you. I swear, I don't know who your wife is or what she did. I, I, I don't. I don't want to die like anybody else does it. Hey, I will go with you. I will stand up with you to get your wife a job, whatever it takes. Hey, off these camera, are the full, superintendent these tried to get guys. Duke Listen, to let the others go. I'm the one that signed the paper, right? Okay. I don't remember and I don't know who she is. But let them go. I'm the one that did it. I mean, they don't sign the papers. I'm the only one that signs them. Will you let them go? But as the board kept talking, hurt, Duke seemed I, unmoved until events go? spiraled out of control. And I, I've got a feeling that what you want is the cops come in and kill you because you're, you're mad. Because you said you're going to die today. But why? If this, is, this isn't worth it. This is a problem. Please don't. Please don't. Please. Oh. I'm going to kill you. After Duke fired at the board members, witnesses say, school board security chief Mike Jones rushed in and exchanged shots with him. Panama City police say Duke, who was wounded, then ended up killing himself with his own weapon. You could see in his eyes that um, he he was intent on, on dying. I, you could just tell, and I don't have a lot of experience in this, but you could tell he, he was going to kill himself at least, if not other people, and we thought he was going to try to shoot us as well. The entire incident was also captured on a school board camera and streamed live as horrified workers and viewers watched the drama unfold. The only thing I could think of the whole time is he, he wants somebody to rush in here. Um, and, and, you know, it, it, was, it was a tragedy all the way around, but it could have been a lot worse. On Facebook, Duke reportedly posted, Some people, the government-sponsored media, will say I was evil, a monster, V. No, I was just born poor in a country where the wealthy manipulate. One of his apparent profile pictures is similar to the V he painted on the school board wall. The symbol some have suggested looks like the one used in the 2006 thriller V for Vendetta. But police say they cannot confirm any link between Duke's actions and the movie. And the superintendent says the school system has no record of anyone who could be the gunman's wife being fired or ever actually working there. And he says it's very lucky that no one else was hurt in that incident. Meredith? Mark Potter, thank you very much.